Hello everyone, welcome back to the Plymouth Argo career mode. In the last episode we had some ups and downs but we love to say we got our confidence back and our rhythm back. We got the two away wins, but that doesn't matter now. We only focus on the future and it looks like we have got Ipswich at home. Top of the lead they are, top of the table sorry. This is a must win to catch up with them. So let's jump into it and let's get things rolling. So this is the team that I'm taking up against Ipswich. You're probably thinking why you're not starting your main team. Hooten and Gillespie make the starting line today because of the fact that Mayer is a little bit tired and I believe uh, Wilson is as well. So yeah, they're nearly on half stamina so they might come on later in the game. But I'm happy with the team it is. They're two good players anyway. So yeah, let's jump into the game and let's see what happens against Ipswich at home park. So here we go then. Massive game miss. First v second in the league one table. Can I go pull off the win today at home park? There's only one way to find out. Let's get the show on the road. They've had their points. They've had their pasties. Ipswich has come down a long way. This is a must win for us. The boys are coming out. Cooper on the Typho, one of our best players this season. There he is, that. The rat, number nine. What a snake. But anyway, let's not focus on him. Let's get going. Here we go. This is a must win for our goal. Come on. Nice obsession player. Could switch again. Switch the key on this game. Oh, and Mum was out of shocker. He went for the fancy. And didn't pay off well. That's a good pass there. And here we come. No sort of play from Hardy. And here comes Whitaker. Can he beat the defender? Yes, he can. Beat him on the pace. Just try a bit of skill there, but it didn't pay off. But let's see, we've still got possession. We have. Oh, what an interception that is by uh, central midfielder. Just can't let their strikers uh, lap to the score. He scored recently against us in real life. We can't let that happen again on the game. Let's go. There was a lot of room to run into there. Can Hardy get on to the end of that? Flick it back maybe? Ooh, unlucky. Mm, it was in for the 1-2 but closed me down quite well. It's alright, we're keeping the ball quite well this game so far. Regal Richards has slipped in behind though. Uh, and the rest pulled up his flag. Thought I timed that quite well. But unfortunately not. Let's have a little look again. It was very tight. I think he might be on, you know. I mean, where's League One VAR? Oh, and he's ran right through. It's a great ball. Van Dyke's there. He's coming for the seconds. And Cooper right at him down his throat. He was able to parry it. Oh, Edwards had a bit of stink up. He's got lucky there. Let's make a little run there from Whitaker. Oh, he's going for it over the top. Can always ping that ball? He know he's loved. He loves to do it all season. Bang it! Oh. Couldn't get my words out there. It's just two folks in the game, but we saw a similar pass from Edwards in the last episode. If anyone's seen it, um, I think Hardy's got to do better there. Here we go again, though. Can he get that to Worker? Hit it back, maybe. Promising signs for Argo, though. Nice, no, well done. Bit of high pressure there from Mutswitch, we've done well to deal with it. Oh, what a ball that is, we've done really well. It's a lovely play here. Oof. Argo doing really nice football, we just can't get the goal though. Oh, that's a good pass, I thought I might have got the interception there, just got a bit unlucky. Oh, it's a good save, but it's falling for him! Ipswich have took the lead. 
they have took the lead in the opening of the game. I think it was the 34th minute this end. It's just very unlucky there. Cooper's done well. We got really unfortunate not getting that intercession before, and it's just fell in for him, and it's, it's a tapping at the end of the day. Very undeserving, I feel like. We've been the better team. We've done nothing. And they just get the goal. But come on. We need them runs from the wingers again. I've got it on. They just seem to be doing it. Doing it. Switches on. Get it. Oh, I thought we made a mistake at the back there. Mm, Keeper's a bit panicky there. We should be winning that. Oh, sloppy passes there from the team. It is half time. At the break, we are 1 0 down to Ipswich, top of the league. I mean, if they win this, then. Oh, they'll be absolutely sky in, in the league. They'll be long gone. So we need to do better. Here. At least a draw, to be honest. But let's see how we get on in the next half. So here we go. There are no subs for me. I'm confident we can get a goal. We just need to find that gap. Also, we can't use Ennis because he is out for two months, unfortunately. The big Mike Knight after playing to play here, big Cosgrove. It's a really bad ball there from Van Dyke. Oh, Jesus, man. This guy's done really well. Cooper, big clearance. Nice. Head it down. Oh, who and you got to bear there? Slow down your pace, my man. Look that, we're, we're long gone. And they come again, I won. Bit of a gap there. Wokeo goes back to him. Is he on sides? Uh, rest bonus, people swap. No, I'm not going to make a sub yet. I'm not going to make a sub yet. Mm, let's go watch it here. It's a really good ball, but luckily for us, it was a really bad touch by Lapso. I can't pronounce his name, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to call him the number nine. Oh, he's run through there. Can he get the touch? Oh, really well played from the defender. Good play, though, from us. Promising. Good hold up play there from Hardy. Really well done from him. He's done really well. Edwards wants it there. Oh, it's not the good ball though. Got to get it to Wicker's feet. Weak uh, feet. Need a good lock on here. Nice. Come on. Here we go. Three on three here. Yeah? Can Rico run that back post like he does? Oh, it's just not going to him though, is it? It's a really good player there. Yeah. I don't really want to pick Sky because I'm going to leave him open in the middle. Nice. Come on, counter here. Work here again. Unlucky. Come on, we're still going here. Good ball to back post. Can I jump up for it? It's still up there. Nice. Rico. Running through, just trying to find Whitaker there. Good ball. Mumba. Oh, I was trying to run to the gap, I thought you wouldn't expect it. They don't want it, I'm telling you, we just need to get that goal. Good challenge. I thought Skull was going to make the run black, but we've gone ultra attack again, so I feel like we definitely need to go there. Skull pings one over the top there. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Oh, and it's lap two. He's through on goal. He's at the post. Good block. Get it out. Come on. Oh, got to be better past there, boys. Come on. Rico, 
Finds Van Dyke on the head. Rico Richards is running through. Can he do something there? Hardy, going for the shot. Oh, Walton with a good save to his bottom right. We needed that. This could be the last chance of the game. Cooper's gone up as well. Whitaker's there. Oh, and I think that might be it. It looks like we might have the defeat here. It's just skimmed the post, it seems. And I think Ipswich has got the win over at home park. It's bad for us. The title could, could be off already. We go for the playoffs or the automatic promotion. But unfortunately, we have lost the top of the league. 1-0. I don't think they were that good, to be honest. I mean, to be fair, their defence was decent. But their attack in midfield was shocking. We just couldn't put away our chances when we had them. Holy came close to the end. But that didn't matter. Ipswich 1. I'll go now. Radio, let's get to the post-match conference. Why not, hey? Does it take for playing far with fans? Two defeats against Citrus Town. I don't I don't understand this. I swear I haven't played it already. It's weird. Yeah, we need to step up. We need to be better that game. Shocker. Uh self belief. I think we had the passion, we know, I don't know, we just couldn't get away chances. Yeah, it's just say that, a bit of self to belief. I don't know why I said didn't really deserve to lose. We deserved to lose, we didn't take our chances. I mean, we got unlucky. I think a draw was fair, but it is what it is. We didn't take our chances, what can you learn from that defeat? Big moments, you not see the X game. X the game went off, we looked dangerous going forward. Yes, we did. We, it didn't look too bad. It was just, just, just pitting the chances away. That's the problem. Thank you for your time. It is what it is. Lego, thank you very much. Radio, so you know the drill by now. I'll advance to the next game unless anything else pops up. So I'll see you in a moment. So, Radio, the next game is away to Oxford, Oxford at Court Lane. Before we jump into that, we have got a message here. Let's have a little gander. Cosgrove's appearances. I wanted to let you know that Lucas Brown has been in touch. They're apparently unhappy with how little that sounds. Is there anything that's happened? Uh, uh, I mean, do I play him? I'll tell you what, right. I might try and bring him on this game because we haven't got Ennis and we need that extra striker just in case Hardy gets tired. So yeah, let's jump into that. Just got to remember to start Ennis because I don't want him to leave because then we won't have any striker until Ennis gets back. Okay, uh, at the moment, in real life, Coles Grove is a bit of a legend for us, so kind of got to feel like I've got to res respect him in that way. But anyway, enough of me yapping. Let's get into the game against Oxford. So here's uh, the main man himself. Eight goals. Top goal scorer now, Ryan Hardy for us. Now a little practice shootout, it seems, before the game. Ideal, hope he can bang some goals in for us today. So start the episode off with one loss, so let's hopefully this... Let's bring it back against Court, uh, Court Lane against Oxford. Let's get the winner. It's back at the table. I'll be realistic. If it switch bottle, then yeah, the title might be on, but it looks like it could be there. So we need to kind of go for playoff here or automatic promotion. But anyway, that's down the line. Let's focus on what's ahead now. Let's go. Go on, boys. Great start this. Oh, he's going for in the box. Ah, don't want him to touch it. I wanted to hit him first time to go back in the box there. But there you can see the Lee, uh, league leaders. It's with Sheffield now jumped to second, and we're sitting in third. Right at the bottom, bottom is Port Vale as well with Accrington. They look like they potentially be going down. But who cares about them? We carry on with this. Might have caught him there. Ooh. What might have caught him? I can't really see, to be honest, with the camera angle. <laughs> but we move. Comes Oxford here. Good switch over to the left. Need Edwards to step up here. Good ball. No one's there to attack it. Easy for Cooper. Edwards. Well done. Good 
Let's take that. And again, ugh. you know, some new skill moves. <laughs> no throw there to Mumba, to Azaz. Just need some options doing here, we need some runs. Play a wide, maybe. There we go. Again, a wide. Pinged it into hard, I was hoping he'd make that run inside, but he hasn't. So watch out here. Oh. Oh wow, that came out of nowhere. Oxford are 1-0 up against Argyle. It's like we're going back and forward with these episodes. We do one episode really well and then we go all really shit again. What a strike that is. Kuba's got no chance against that. Need to be closing them quicker, lads. Other hope of motion to replay here. Caden Jackson, need to get into it quicker. Right down the middle, but the power behind it has got no chance. And I'm fuming. I'm also fuming, you know what I mean? Like, freaking, I'm not a happy man. We need to step up. We need to make some more runs, boys. Like, maybe the team's a bit distraught and a bit panicky because we haven't got Edwards on the bench to save the day like he did in the start of the season. I don't know. Confidence is gone with the team at the moment. And here they come again here. We're trying to get this ball out. We finally got out. Good little play here. Hardy wants to the top. You can get it back to Azaz. Can Azaz make it one all? Yes, he can. Let's grab the ball. I'm not going to celebrate. I want to keep winning. Let's go. I want more goals. So much better, though. Finally, an attack works for us this episode. Well done. All Hardy, to be fair, gets his assist. Little layoff there to Azaz. And he rockets it into the left-hand side of the goal. More of the central, I'd say, but goal's a goal. We don't care. Come on. Let's get the win today. Nice. Well done. We've got Wilker running here. He's on his own, to be fair, but can he get past this player? Yeah, he's done well to defend. He's caught me the whole time. Did try to cut in, but he was on me like glue. Wilson. Oh, it's unlucky. Oh, he's run through. He's run really well, him. And I believe it's the same player that has absolutely rampant through the defence. He yeah, strength one. Jackson again. I am right. And Oxford took the lead again. He's out of strength. I think Skull. No, Edwards. And I don't know what Skull's doing. He's just left him for dead. I mean... I'm insane, Scott's been our best defender this season, mate, but he's had an absolute howler there. Need a step up, lads. Come on. Well done, Scott. See, where was that a minute ago? You idiots. Through again here is this Jackson player. Jesus, mate. He is a deadly striker. Deadly man. Rico wants it. Little think there, the Hardy maybe. Hardy can on. Did he score? Oh, it's just skimmed the right hand side of the post. It's looking a little bit better. This is where we need more. Come on. Oh, unlucky. Good challenge. Can we get one just before the break now? And the ref has blown the whistle. A bit harsh there. It could have been a three on two. But Argo again see themselves down at half time here. For that man there, Caden Jackson, three attempts, two goals. I'm not going to deny it. He's had an absolute blinder, the lad has. It's the player to watch. Every time he gets the ball, magic happens. But yeah, I'll let you know what I do with the team and we'll get into the next half. So this is what I've done with the team. I've gone for an actual completely new formation here. And brought on Cosgrove on, Putin and Butcher right in the middle. So two different attacks here. Uh, actually, I just forgot to do that. Actually, Mumba needs to stay on. And I think that is the team I'm going to go on for the next half. See if it works. If not, we go back to what it originally was. 
But yeah, let's get into the next half. This is your chance, Cosgrove, for the like, 18th time. <laughs> Needs to prove to me that, you know, he's right for the team. Oh, not the best start there. My mum got absolutely rat. Oh, he's calling for it. That's a good ball from Finney, though. Oh, that's a, give it in. Cosgrove's there. Oh, it's all for he had a bit more room. Here comes that Jackson player again. So deadly for the Oxford. Ooh. I don't like this. And Oxford have made it 3-1. What a ball. What a volley. This is not looking good, this episode and this game. Bodman, the number seven, hammers it in with a little side volley. A beautiful cross. I thought he was going to go back out wide, so I dragged him out. And it's an easy cross, and it's a tapping for him. Argo's got a big ladder to climb back in now. They're in the rabbit hole. Need to step it up here. Just no options at the moment, is it? It doesn't seem... Seems a bit too flat. Hardy's there, though. Uh, again, though, this is what I'm saying with Cosgrove. He's just... Oh, bit of pressure there. No, oh, he's got nowhere to turn, though. Anyway, like I was saying, though, Cosgrove, like, you know, he's, he's that tall and he can't hold off anyone. It's strange. This is really well done from Oxford again there. So, yeah, it's gone out for a corner. And he come again here. Really nice play. Luckily, it was a sloppy shot. Oh, come on. This is so poor today. What has happened to the team? Need to wake up, man. Soft size, Cosgrove, you idiot. Well, too fast, I can't, I can't attack him too much there. It's Jackson here. Could be on a hat trick if he scores this. Good save from Coop. He denies his hat trick. He's that they've actually took him off, which I'm very surprised. He's been their best player. He's been their bigger threat. Come on. Good ball. Uh, I can't turn him though. It's a problem, we're getting it there, but just can't get the turns. Cosgrove, you've got to score that if you get it. He's honestly, I'm sorry. It's time to go! I don't want to be that guy, but he is shit in the game. Absolutely shocking, I'm sorry, but love him in real life, but on the game, he's useless. Got no chance here. Uh, the best walking hardy then. Needed that man. And here they come again here. Let's not make this an embarrassment. Ran a gun. A good save from Coop. Looks like the old uh, 4 2 2 2. It's not the way forward. Worker here. Mayer, on his own, literally on his own. Oh, it's just too late, though. I mean, I knew that could potentially get intercepted, but same again, though. Where is the support for the team? Sloppy passes again. Can't lock on to a defender. Please fix the lock-ons on this game, FIFA. Please, I beg. It's so bad. I cannot lock on to a defender there. You know, it's right beside him. Hardy's made the run there. He could be in behind it. Can Hardy finish it? Yes, he can. Grab the ball, Hardy. There might be, there might be some hope after all. Come on, let's play for the draw. All out attack now. Come on. Got no time for replays. Let's get this going. They're running through again. What has happened there? What has just happened? 
Am I, am I seeing things? Why is the AI just turned to a prime Earl in Holland? What is it? They're doing limbs. What has happened there? Our defence is just... What is going on? It's just, he's literally just turned my defence, like nothing, and just ran, and just banged it in, literally off kickoff. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Terrible pass. It's back to back losses for Argo. This is not good. This nigga said all episodes all comes down to consistency with this team. And it's just not being consistent. Maybe I haven't been consistent within myself, but you've seen it from the previous episodes. We've seen we've made runs. And look, it's just sloppiness. It's just no movement. They're absolutely battering us. Look at the play they're playing here. Look at that. He went in. Oh. Anyway, it looks like there's another loss for Argo here. Work needs to be done here. Hopefully in the next game, we can get an actual win. But not good. Really annoyed at the team. One man in particular, because I think if he scored that, the whole game would change. And that's Cosgrove, but that is it now for me. I'm sorry, Argo fans, you're watching this. But if you've been following the series, he's been absolutely shocking in-game. Real life, unreal. In the game, he's shocking. When he loan, when he's the loan expires or whatever he's doing, I will not be looking to bring him back in. I am sorry. But anyway, we go again. What a palaver. I ain't talking to the press. I'm too angry. But like I said, we'll skip to the next game if anything comes up. We have got a chat there. Let's actually look at that quickly. Who is it? Uh, Dan Scar, I'm happy the game's given me, boss. I'm expecting more from you. I am. I think he slipped up. Uh, I think on the, I believe the second goal of that Jackson goal. He needs to be a bit better if he wants to be my defender this season. But anyway, let's continue. So here, so here we are then at Moulton Road against Portsmouth. Let's get into the pre-match conference and I'll show you what I've done with the team after. Thank you everyone for joining us. We're going to start questions now. Here we go. It's not been a good start of the season for your boys. Do you think the team's going up to show? I think we are. We just need consistency. The championship, here we go. Just need to win games. Need consistency. Yeah. We're in excellent shape. No, we're not. <laughs> need to find some form. I agree. I agree. We like said I'm not always going to be uh, happy with the team. I'm going to hit him with a bit of truth. Very in and out lately. Good questions today. Finally. Very true. Very in and out. It's about confidence. There it is, look. I've said it from day one. It's always about the confidence. Good questions, okay, guys, that one. Finally, some good questions. So, today. so, yeah, let's get into the game. But before we do that, I am going to rock a new formation here. The 4 3 3 holding with Hooten, Hooten back in the team in the DM. Just to give that a little bit of help in the midfield. Um, I'm pretty confident, I mean this might sound really silly because we've been lost two games in a row, but I'm getting a bit more confident defending on this game uh, on FIFA 23, so I think this is the team we're going to rock up, get an extra body in the uh, midfield. But yeah, let's get into it against a 4-4-2 Portsmouth at Home Park, even though I said it was a different stadium. I don't know. See who we are then. Give me a fargo fans there, uh, walking to the stadium at Home Park, there it is. We need a win this episode, man. We cannot lose three in a row. That would not be good for the table as well. We've probably already dropped quite a few already. Probably going to say we're about fourth or fifth now in the league. We need we need this win against Portsmouth at home. Especially for the home fans as well. Come on. Step up, man. Hopefully uh, this formation does well for us. We get into it a little bit more. If not, we have got the five back still in the back pocket on another 
formation layout. Come on. All right. And we're off. Come on, boys. Better, better game this game. Come on. We've got to show the league and around the world that we mean business. Not this in and out freaking non consistency kind of shit. Here we go here. Nothing me talking. Work has done well. Ugh, who on the bad? Not a good touch up. It's a good ball there to Scarlett. We all know he's a very dangerous player for Portsmouth. I think he's on loan to Tottenham. Okay, we catch that easy. That's it, Mayer. A bit tricky there. Keep thinking we haven't got many skilled players in, in the uh, team. Let him run on that line. That's it, easy. Fans are chanting and the clapping. As well, let's see, get behind the scene. Rico. Wants it back, it seems. He's got to get that. Rico, can he finish it? Good shot! And it's just skimmed the post. The main man for our goal has put it wide. We go again. Come on. Big head there, please. Nice. Hardy wants it. He's going to get it. Good overlap there from Richard Rico. Can he get it into the back post? It's just a bit too, it's gone to the keeper's hands. It was done well, but he's still got away with it. Scott plays it back. And again, and it's 1 0 again. Kane Scarlett, the lone player from Spurs, I believe, has opened up the scoring. What is going on with this Argo team at the moment? I do not know. Can we answer back? I'm getting fed up now. The fans are getting fed up. Cuba's getting pissed off because his defence is just having a howler this episode. So simple, but he's just tapped it in. But come on. I'm not giving up yet. Oh, he's done well. Ref, he's all over me. Fucking hell, ref. Where's the card at? It's a lovely play. Go on, finish that. Oh, really nice play. Quick snappy. We look like the AI there. Need to score that though. Mayer swings it into the box. It's there again. It's a good save from the keeper. Whitaker loves that front post header. We've all seen it all season. So can we try again here? There again. Gillespie's got to do better there, mate. Nice. There's no runners, is there? They've got so many back, and there's just no runners. Where's the score? A lot of ping pong, ping pong uh, football at the moment. Not liking it. Oh, that's a really good play there from Portsmouth. He's played it back. Dane Scarlett, good save from Cooper. Oh, this is not good for the Argo boys today. Really poor. Well done, Coop. Let's just get out a little bit. Come on. Let's go for a quick one there, actually. Needs an option, though. There's no one there helping in the poor lad. This is shocking. Got lucky there. Still got it. It's a good ball to Hardy. Got to finish it. Hardy, yes! Well, we've been answered back just before the half. Hardy, the main man for us at the moment. The league's top goal scorer. He might not be, but half of that goal, he might have put him back up there. I'm still not happy with the team though, that was scruffy. Let's see that again here. Little dink over the top, Hardy's put it down, bottom left corner. I think through the keeper's legs it might have been. Come on, we've got to do better. We've got to do a lot better, man.
Well done, Gillespie. Good block. Good job I didn't go through because that could have been another goal for them. Let's get it out, Rico. Well done, lad. That should hopefully maybe blow for the whistle. There it is. 1 0 at the break. At least we ain't behind. I mean, that's a good, that's a pos one positive we could take away from this so far. But we need to do a lot better. I'm not going to mess around here. We're going to get right into the second half. I'll let you know if we made any subs. So no subs at the break. Keeping with the main team. Let's get it going. I don't like how we got such a gap there to that number nine. Don't like that. I was hoping uh, he would probably able to cover that bit better, but clearly isn't. Referee, that's a dangerous challenge, ref. Card, please. Thank you. Oh, he gets a free kick for Argo. Pack. Making a bit of a dirty challenge there. Look, it's not even got the ball, man. It's right behind him, ref. Get your card out. I don't think I'm going to shoot this. A bit too far out. Just going to play it short there. Here you go. Running through here. It's done really well. Good ball in there. Can someone get the end of it? And they cannot. Oh, he's done really well. This, this player is an absolute nuisance. Oh, got a bit unlucky there. Need to watch this here. Oh, Mumba. Oh, composure. Redeem himself. <laughs> Edwards on the ball here. Can he find Hardy? He's done that all season. He has. Can he get it? Oh, it's just the bounce has got away from him. The bounce has got away from him. And Edwards is really good at playing over top balls. We need to neutralise that a little bit more. A dummy there from uh, Mayer. Oh, well, it just gets to the good ball there. Scarlet. It's fair on the inside. That's a really nice play. That is unbelievable play from Portsmouth. I don't know what's happened to the AI in this episode, mate, but they are really, really giving a beating to Plymouth Argo today. Excellent football from you. Can't take that away from them. I knew it was happening, but it was just happened so quick. I just couldn't have enough time to just pull my players over. You saw there, Dan's got a bit of a pace and then quick snappy passes and they've made it 2-1. Could Argo be on for a free game, free loss here? It really puts down the table. Nice. Hardy again. Hardy on the half volley. Oh, is that a save? No, he went right wide. Right, let's get some subs on here. Randall on for Azaz. It's a bit annoying. I'm a bit annoyed at the wingers. They're not making runs that I wanted them to. Hardy seems the only one that wants it in attack. That's a really good ball again. That's a good challenge though. Good ball there to Whitaker. Come on. Oh, he's in the middle, but it's just overshot the pass. Pass is really overshot. And here they come again here. They're beating us for days here. Look at the play they're playing here. That's unbelievable from them again. Oh, my God. It's gracious me. What is that, Richards? That's really bad. I didn't aim it there. Freaking hell, what is going on with this team? Good ball there to Rico. Back out wide. Where is the run? Where is the run there from Whitaker on that back post, man? If he gets a run, they might get it. Oh, that's unlucky. See what we try to do there. How have they got away with that? And the same again. We're just going to have to go watch our attack here. Come on. It was short there. Oh, he wants it on the other top. Can he get to it? Ref! There's no, no way, Ref. Play it. Oh, come on, Maya. So annoying. Ref, 
Ref, that's a foul. Clip me. Come on. Not a good ball. To the wing. We want it there. We want it to the wing. And it is, again, another loss for our goal. You could say the board are going to question me at this rate. I mean, three games today, three losses. Really have put a good drop down to the end of the table. We'll have a little look after this little cutscene. I'm getting booed. The team's getting booed. That's three games, three losses. What has happened to Plymouth Fargo? I do not know. We're just not making enough chances. We just can't get through at the moment. For God's sake. So here we are then back at the main menu. Just going to sim up to the next game and uh, we go from there. So I've actually just got another youth squad uh, report. Uh, so let's have a little gander that, see if anyone's gone up. So Billy Porter, does he jump up? He's gone up to a 47 there, the young lad. There's Zachary White's dropped down a bit. I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna release him, I'm sorry lad. So just gonna keep an eye on this lad for a while, Billy Porter. He's going up a little bit, isn't he? Let's give him a little development plan and we'll continue on. So here we are then at the next game, but before we got that, we've got a lot of information to go through in the top right corner, so let's get through that. So monthly scouts, so we'll quickly have a look at that, but let's just get the other crap out of the way. Match reschedule, yeah, whatever that. Bolton development schedule, okay, James Bolton, that's the centre back, I believe. Yeah, we don't really start him, we can just, we might be able to give him a game, I don't know why we don't start him. Let's go on the player chat, who's this then? i been playing pretty well recently, I mean, you haven't, I mean. You've been starting and we've lost three games off the bat, so it's a team game. I'm not gonna you know, I'm not gonna praise him for what he's done, you know what I mean? What crap. But anyway, let's get into the youth academy. Let's have a look and see if we more wonder kids. Let's have a little gander. So Dominic, nah. You shit. Him? Nope. Ooh, Leon George. Let's sign him on, see what he's about anymore. Oh look at this guy look. Isaac Miller, 55 to 73, 17 race, 77 potential to 94, sorry. 100% will take him on. He looks like a bit of a baller. And the rest can get out. So let's have a look at them players quick. And then I'll probably just leave the episode there, to be fair. Because we've played three and unfortunately lost three. So the board would definitely be questioning us. So we just, we got to sort this out. I don't know what's happened. We look so promising. Um, but yeah, let's get into the youth academy so here we are then miller he's an actual striker maybe we knew he a striker five star skills on the bay let's have a look at his development plan can he play in your else? look at the dribbling on the bay 76 already wow fair play to him uh so i mean to be fair could he probably do better on the wing because of that dribbling let's have a little look or should we put him in a camera yeah, I'll tell you what, let's go camera because the pass is nearly there, to be fair. I'm going to try and convert this guy into a cam, and we go from there. High low as well, what a player. Leon George as well, 41 overall. He might just need a position change, that seems the way the game goes. I'm going to switch him to a winger, seems like he's got the pace, a little bit dribbling, a little bit of uh, agility, so I'm going to push him to a winger. Or oh, actually, maybe a striker. No, let's do a striker, yeah, 100%, let's do a striker. There we go. So let's just have a look at the league table before the league table before we end the episode. Let's have a little gander. Where are we standing? To be fair, I know we've bottled games. I didn't realise actually Sheffield are still undefeated with nine draws. Uh, to be fair, it's not that bad. I expected it to be a lot worse. I expected us to be like sick for something, but we're still four with one point behind Bristol. So maybe we've been let off a bit there. Uh, one draw, seven losses. That's not good for us, but we have got Bristol Rovers away, which are ahead of us. That is a 100% a, a must-win, but we just need to sort this team out. But anyway, we'll get into that on the next episode. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Ah.